What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of House Flipper. As always, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. Today, we are of course going to be continuing on with yet another Luxury Flipper DLC house. In the last episode, we had just finished the Lousy Contractor's job. And I know in part one of that job, we did read through this sort of penthouse job as well. I I'm not really sure what this one's all about. Looks like it's an apartment. And we know his name is Christopher. That's about all I remember. I don't really feel like reading through it a second second time so we're just gonna go ahead and accept the job we'll see what this thing's all about oh yeah dude it's literally a penthouse it's exactly what I thought it would be looks like it has like a little loft section maybe on that on that top floor this one looks cool my schedule is tight but I wanted to drop in and walk <laughs> you through the job <laughs> mr. cool here. I like to have <laughs> full control of the situation at all times I only have a few minutes the helicopter is waiting, and its oh. engines are still hot. Dude's cruising this in a heli? looks unacceptable. Crazy. You need to clean it thoroughly. Okay. For furnishings, take something stylish. Top class only. Money is not an issue. Are we clear? <laughs> I need a Money room is for not my an issue. <laughs> I want you to turn this area I don't like how like, wardrobe. cocky this I'd guy seems. specific instructions in our contract. Okay. I'll pay you when you deliver your side of the agreement. I know you will fulfill the terms precisely. About Absolutely. This room, I would like to keep some things discreet. I trust my secret will be safe with you. Oh, this some like 50 shades of gray type thing, dude. What the heck business as usual? This is maybe not what I was thinking, <laughs> to be completely honest. But all right, uh, I thought it was a little bit dark and that I guess kind of explains it. Dude, it's just real moody. Like this one's got some serious mood lighting to it. All righty, well here we are, dude. Let's take a, take a little stroll around, see what we see, see what we can learn from this place, from this mysterious man, mysterious wealthy man. What is going on here? Um, okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess so. Kind of like an abstract wall divider type thing. I like the artwork in here, though. Yeah, we got to go around and just turn on all the light switches, dude. It's way too dark in here. Here's another one. There aren't even any more lights in this room, dude. We got to go all the way upstairs, I guess. I like the staircase. That looks pretty good. This is the first one I've seen that's kind of like a, a 45 degree angle instead of just being 90 degree turns and whatnot. Here we go. Another light switch. Does that help? Not really. We might actually be using our flashlight for this one just so we can at least see what we're doing a little bit better. Oh, we got a fireplace over here. That might help. There we go. All right, let's check out the upstairs though. So back in this room, got a, I guess a bedroom, right? At least this room has lights. Oh, here we go. Got one heart-shaped bed already. Is this? No, this isn't the room. Kind of curious on what is actually hiding behind that door, but we'll get to that in just a moment. This must be a bathroom or... Yeah, here we go. Bathroom or closet. Bathroom for sure. And then just behind that heart-shaped bed, this is going to be his closet. Dude, wh what's with all the clothes everywhere, my guy? Dude cannot pick up after himself. I don't care how wealthy you are, at least pick up after yourself. All right, next room. Got a, another bedroom. Okay, so this must be a, a two-bedroom. Unless the other room on the on the far side of the apartment is is another bedroom. Dude, look at this view. My god, this looks a bit like Miami. I'm getting I'm getting big Miami vibes from this apartment. And then behind the door with the gold handle. I wonder what we got back here. Bathroom. All right. And then this is probably, yep, a closet. Good deal. There is just, dude, there's clothes everywhere. I can honestly say I don't think they're his clothes, if you guys catch my drift. So we're gonna go down and we're gonna see whatever's in this room. I'm kind of nervous. Why is there a fluid outside the door? Is that ketchup? Hopefully that's ketchup. Oh no. Oh no. Getting more and more nervous to see what's behind this door. Oh, dude, it's not even that bad. It's a movie theater. It is a movie theater. Why did he... Why did he say it like this is some weird dark secret? I, I mean, it's kind of dirty in here, but I don't know. Dude likes to party. He likes movies. I don't see a problem with any of this. All right, real quick. I'm just going to go around make sure we have all the trash picked up or all the clothes I guess it's not really trash at all is it and I'm gonna make sure we have as many lights turned on as possible just because of how dark this place is all right I think I've gotten just about everything cleaned up now in the house as far as the the trash and clothes go but the kitchen's kind of interesting I'm not really sure what they got going on in here we have this like snowy marble 
But then we also have this darker marble, and then they've decided to just kind of throw it in at random. It looks like I'm just not really sure what they're going for with this place. But there are actually a couple of rooms that I completely walked right past. We have what I'm assuming is another bathroom down here on the main floor. There we be. Turn a little bit of light on in here. This is probably just a closet. Yep, big old storage closet. All right, so now that we have all the trash cleaned up, I'm just going to go through with our handy dandy trusted mop. And we're going to get this place nice and polished up. I think I've got everything else pretty well cleaned up for the most part. Now, something I'm kind of curious on, we haven't had to do this yet, but I want to know if and when we have to clean these big, big windows. Like, how difficult of a task is that going to be? So hopefully someday, later on down the road, we'll at least get the chance to do that. But let's go back downstairs and we'll just kind of continue on with the next step here, which is going to be probably buying and or selling certain furniture pieces. So we'll start in the main entryway here, just past the elevator. He wants us to buy four paintings, looks like. I don't really know where to put these that'll make them look the greatest, but uh, I think we're just going to leave them above these little storage things here, these little uh, dressers. And we'll move on to the next room. That's going to be the living room. This is probably the biggest room in the house. He wants us to sell 38 objects. My God. How do we know what he wants to sell? I guess it'll probably be highlighted in blue. Yeah, rather than red, okay. Oh, he doesn't want the lights. We're supposed to get rid of all of these, all right. This dude really wants it to be as dark as possible in this space. I don't know how somebody could live like this. Okay, we've gotten rid of all of the LED strips now. What's left? A vase. This red vase? All right, sweet. And now since he had us delete whatever sort of sitting arrangement was over here beforehand, it looks like he just wants us to add a new one. Oh no, I'm sorry. He wanted to make space for his grand piano. I like that. Well, I don't like the, the dark wood. Let's do a black one. Nice and classic. Well, he definitely wasn't kidding when he said money was not an issue. He wants us to buy the $3,500 chandelier. And I guess that's going to go in here. I, I don't think we can reach the ceiling, though. We might actually have to get a scaffolding just to put this thing up. Unless he wants it... Oh, you know what? We deleted an existing chandelier that was just in this hallway here. So he's probably wanting us to replace that. There we go. That looks pretty good. I think that's the living room done. He's got a very interesting art style. We haven't had any, like, inspiration board things from him just yet. But, uh... It's a lot of black and white, a little splash of red here and there. On to the next room. I think we're gonna do the bathroom next. Oh, dude, easy, easy, easy. He just wants two towel holders. Done, bathroom complete, closet. Closet's already finished, that's good news. Okay, so I guess we're moving on to the kitchen slash dining room then, in that case. He would like a lotus chandelier sold. I believe that is this bad boy. And we're gonna replace it with Another $3,500 chandelier. This dude is on one. I really do like that. I just hate the fact that it's 3,500 bucks, dude. We can't afford that, but this guy, this guy sure can. I say we can't afford that, and we I think we have like 700,000 in the bank, but we've been playing this for a while, you know? Is that center? Oh my God, I can't do this. I can't do this, dude. There we go. Okay, I think I got that. I'm gonna straighten out these chairs just because... You know, I'm, I'm a nice guy. There we go. They're not perfect, but at least they're not all cockeyed and weird looking. We're going to do the same thing for the bar stools over here. Okay, now we just have to buy four more things for in here. We have some cabinets and a clock. Dude, the thumbnail for this property is going to look horrible. Everything's just so dark. I'm just going to have to blow out the exposure on each picture, dude. It's the only, it's the only thing I can think of, but that should do it for the main floor. I think we're ready to move upstairs and at the end i think we're gonna save that room for last because it did look like he doesn't actually want to keep it as a theater so this might still get kind of dark we'll see where it takes us i guess start off in the first room just at the top of the stairs see what we got going on in here selling a couple of things again doesn't want to keep the heart-shaped bed there's kind of a surprise also doesn't want to keep these lamps or end tables there and then doesn't want to keep the couch either okay so we're Pretty much starting fresh up in here. Wants a new floor panel as well. Good choice, good choice. We use this a lot in the lousy contractor's job. Let's go from this corner 
all the way over to this one. And we got a little strip left right there. Since he wants to keep this chandelier and it's not very bright, I'm gonna try to move it at least to the center of the room. It's better than being in the corner, I guess. And by the looks of things, he does still wanna keep it a bedroom, so that's nice. All we gotta do now is make it look like one. I was getting kind of worried there for a minute that I wasn't gonna be able to fit all the paintings that he wanted us to put on the walls. And then like this massive mirror thing, I couldn't quite figure out where to put that. Ended up having to move around both of the plants quite a few times just to figure out a, a solid configuration. I really couldn't figure out what we were supposed to do with this massive rug. I kind of chose to make it this massive. We could have made it much smaller, but any smaller than this just really didn't make sense for this space. I think... I think this looks okay. Of course, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Always curious on uh, on your guys' take on things. In the closet, all we have to do is sell one thing. Just one of these boys? Oh no, both of those boys. And he would like us to replace it with two of the ones with the mirrors on the front. These look really tacky, but okay. Oh, we can get rid of the mirror. Let's do that. You know, he's already got a mirror out here for when he's getting dressed in the morning. So I, I feel like he doesn't probably want four massive mirrors in his closet as well. Maybe he does. We don't really know much about this man. I also don't remember his name. We'll just call him Mr. Cool. That's pretty fitting, I think. In his bathroom, he would like us to remove the sconce. Dude, again, way too dark in here. What's he want us to replace it with? Okay, those and then a circular ceiling lamp. All right, this better be brighter than it was originally. Oh, it's way worse, dude. It's so much worse. Maybe the circular ceiling lamp will help. Kind of gives off like a yellow hue, but that's all right. At least it brightens up the space, you know? No complaints from me on that. And now he would like us to change the wall tiles. So we have a choice between the dark ones or the light ones. I think I'm going to go with the dark ones since it looks like the floor tiles he wants us to use are just straight up white. So let's do this first. Here we go. And over here. And also in the doorway, of course. Can't forget that. Oh, I was thinking we had a choice for the wall panels. We actually don't. He wants 30 panels in total, 15 of each of them. Okay, there's the first 10 down. So that, oh, we only need one stack. Well, that kind of works out perfectly. How many we got here? One, two, three, four, five. I mean, we could make it work. I suppose it doesn't matter if we go over, does it? And then what I think I'm going to do with these dark ones is essentially just replace all the drywall spots with this tile instead. I feel like that'll look okay. I didn't actually do above the window. I don't know if you can get that. It still looks like there's drywall back there, but now we have three more objects left to purchase for in here. They're just towels. Pretty simple. And just like that, we are done in the bathroom. I think this is supposed to be the master and maybe not. I, actually, this other room might even be bigger. This one's 25 square meters and this one is 29. So it is bigger, but not really by all that much. In this one, we're actually supposed to sell the bed that we made and just replace it with a new one. Oh, wow. A much fancier one, much more expensive one. And with the addition of the new bed, it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to use the mirror that was once behind the headboard or above the headboard. Now we can scoot the bed back just a little bit. There we go. And we'll put the mirror back up on there. Okay, I think this looks pretty solid. Honestly, it's not my style for sure, but it's kind of hard now not having any of the inspiration board things because I'm, I'm just trying to like match existing colors at this point. I noticed this chair was red. His desk chair was red. The curtains up here are also red. I don't know if that's the right thing to do, but that's just what I've been doing. I think we'll stick to it. Let's move on to this bedroom's closet. That one is complete. And the bathroom, thank God, was not really feeling these sinks. Can we get rid of those? Yes, nicely done. And we got some new floor tiles as well. Going for a dark floor tile, so we'll probably do light wall tiles. I got the sinks roughly placed. They're not fully assembled just yet because I wanted to try to figure out how we were going to go about doing these wall tiles. They want 25 of the white ones and then 15 of the gray ones. So we'll kind of just do... Maybe a similar thing to what we did in, in this bathroom. Kind of just replace the uh, the drywall with the darker tile and then we'll replace the existing tile wall with the, the white tile, I guess. Oh my God, dude, all this bathroom work's got me needing to use the bathroom. So I will be right back, in, back in a flash. All right, where were we? Oh yeah, 
bathroom, tiling. I'd say that about does it on the bathroom. I almost kind of wish I would have done the inverse of what we have here. So where there's gray, I kind of wish it were the white tile and where there's white tile, I kind of wish it were the gray tile. Let's move on to the next room now in the house because there wasn't anything in the closet, right? No, and this bedroom is complete. So I guess that's going to leave. Oh, well, the stair landing, I guess technically is a, is a room and he would like us to sell the pink slash purple couch. So we'll get rid of that for him and replace it with a new less colorful version. Now we got to find a spot for a couple of paintings. This whole like hallway portion seems a little boring. So maybe we can put these up right there. I just want to get them evenly spaced. You guys, you guys know how I am. There we go. That looks pretty good to me. So with that done, we can move into the final room of the house, the darkest room of the house, I might add. He doesn't want the projector. Doesn't want the screen. Okay, now I'm really concerned what he's gonna have us turn this room into. Doesn't want either one of these couches or any of these different wall lamps here. All of that has to go. Oh, finally, dude. Finally, we have some of those orb looking doodads. By the looks of things, I've been doing pretty good. Black, white, maybe dark brown, some red in there. Looks to be about his style. He says, I wanna have my playroom here. Scary for video games and stuff, not as scary. Red LED strips, leather furniture, and a good gaming chair is the most important. And of course, high quality displays. Yes, no, I am well aware of that. I'm still using a TV for my monitor and it's not the greatest, but I think we can deliver on a, on a nice gaming room for him. So first we have to choose the wall finish. Since red is more so an accent color for this guy, I don't think I'm gonna do the walls in red, but I really, really like this gradient gray wallpaper. It's kind of a lighter gray at the top and it gradually gets darker at the bottom, hence the name gradient gray wallpaper. So we'll try this out. I'll get a couple of these. All right, we got the walls done. I'm, uh, I'm kind of feeling it. I can't really tell if the gradient is that strong. And, and that's probably just because we don't have any lights in this room yet, but we're gonna move on to the flooring next. I'm gonna take a look at his inspo. I don't see any flooring shots in his inspiration stuff here. So I'm just gonna go with all reliable, the dark walnut herringbone floor panel. I know we've been using this quite a bit, but you can't fault it. It does look really, really nice. There we go. And we got some more orb looking doodads. We don't have to sell anything else, right? He wants to keep the stereo system and whatnot. Let me just make sure he doesn't want us to sell any of this other stuff that's left over. Okay, he does want to keep all the rest of the uh, surround sound equipment. So I guess we can move into furniture. We got a coffee table. Oh my God, dude, this thing is rad. I really like that. I don't know if this is his style per se, but I'm gonna throw it in regardless because it's that cool. Next, we got a couch. Try to find something with some red accents, hopefully. Oh yeah, dude, some red pillows. That's perfect. I'm just gonna set these up like right next to their respective orb looking dudes and we can kind of configure it later. Would he like an L-shaped desk or would he like a standing desk? This is probably the part where I should be paying closer attention to our budget. We have around 15,000 left, so I don't think I don't think it matters. We sort of always use the L-shaped desk, so I do think I'm going to try for or something different. This one's not too bad. We'll swap that Brazilian nut out for something else, maybe just a black wood. And the last one we have here is an office chair. Of course, he wanted a proper gaming chair. So I'm not gonna give him any of these armchair dudes. We're going for full on gaming chair fez. No regrets, dude, all black everything. Now that we've done that, we have two painting options. Oh, no, 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 furniture options. I'm sorry, so this is gonna be his monitor. He said he really, really wanted a good monitor. He doesn't really strike me as the Apple type. I also don't know if we can really afford that with our remaining budget. We probably could squeeze it in, but I'm gonna go with the backlit monitor here, a medium-sized one. Never mind. I think we're gonna scale it down a little bit. That's a, that's a bit too large. Yeah, there we go. That is, that is much more feasible. Oh, and he actually wants two of these. Okay, so we could pretend maybe he's got a Maple or Apple computer for editing and a PC for actually gaming. Oh, it says my budget will run out soon. How lovely. Oh yeah, dude, we're suddenly down to 9,600 bucks. And I think these are all gonna be like acoustic foam paneling. Yes, that is exactly what's going on. All right, judging by his inspiration pictures, it looks like he likes the kind of like egg crate looking stuff. So we'll just grab these, I think in a in all black. 
No red accents on this. I think that looks kind of tacky. They're definitely not level or evenly spaced around the room, but I think that actually looks pretty nice. The last orb that we have here is gonna be a rug. I'm gonna get this red striped rug, the biggest one they can possibly fit in this space. And we'll just kind of put that wherever for right now. Dude, I still can't see anything. I've had to use my flashlight this whole time. I think it's about time we get some actual lighting in here. Of course, all he has for us is two of these tub extended. I think that's supposed to be tube potentially, but I'm gonna put one over here in this corner for right now and we'll do the other in the opposite corner. We'll just see how much light those actually put out. Absolutely none. None whatsoever. Yo, I'd be bumping into every, I'd be stubbing my toe on everything in this room. I had to add quite a few extra LED strips up around the ceiling just because we didn't quite have enough to make it all the way around. I think they kind of wanted us to stagger them maybe just above each acoustic panel, but I didn't really like the look of that. So now what we have to do is I guess just reconfigure the space and make it usable. Cause right now it's just one big cluster. So I don't know where I'm gonna put the desk, but I still wanna try to keep the sort of theater aspect to it. The desk actually might fit right behind the door. Oh yeah, dude, that's like perfect. I know red is kind of this dude's thing, but I couldn't not give him a 2G spec controller. You guys, we gotta stay on brand, okay? And actually we gave him two of those. He has an Xbox 360, very, very old console down there. And while I wasn't able to give him a red Xbox controller to match all the other red accents in here, I think we did pretty good. I, I also forgot like midway through that this RGB stuff, if you choose any color that's not the sort of multicolor, like this option here, the colorful, it doesn't actually light up. So I can, I can hit E all day on these things and they don't light up. The only one that actually does is the PC itself. So at least he has some more additional RGB, or I guess that's technically LED. And then I moved both of these tub slash tube lights into each corner, just kind of hovering above both of those speakers there. And I think that looks really, really nice. Again, it's a very, very dark space. And I think it's unfortunately gonna stay that way. But that's gotta be it, right? I think we're actually completely done with this place now. Dude, this place is like, twice the size of the lousy contractor job house that we did previously. And we did this in half the time. But let's go ahead and turn this place over now to Mr. Cool himself. We're gonna complete the job for 29,000. I think that's around the same amount that we got for that previous job as well, which is kind of funny. But I'm also kind of excited to see these before and after pictures. There's the theater room, still a theater room, but also his office as well, his gaming room. That room turned out pretty good. Kind of proud of that one. I wish we would have done more blue accents in that. I think that's what they were trying to get at with the rug in that space, but no big deal. There's the very, very luxurious room, front entryway. I'm glad I didn't move those little uh, dresser things, those little drawers. And just like that, we're back at home. So once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.